no matter what. The North Dakota State Bison are back in the Fargo Dome following their bye week. And today they host Robert Morris for their final non-conference game of the regular season. It's the Tree Bowl as the Bison host the Colonials. It's Easton Stick hands it off to Lance Dunn. He goes around the right tackle and takes it 61 yards to the house. His sixth rushing touchdown of the season. And there's more where that came from. Colonials ball. It's a toss, but Logan McCormick makes the tackle, forces the fumble, and recovers for the Bison. Stick with the ball, lateral to Lance Dunn, who sneaks past the pie line. Four touchdowns for him. Colonials looking to pass. Trey Dempsey, interception, and that will be a pick six. The Bison shut out the Colonials 56 to nothing this evening. And for the University of North Dakota, it's time for conference play. The Fighting Hawks host Montana State for their first Big Sky match of the season. After South Dakota handed the Fighting Hawks their second loss, they hope to open conference play with a victory. It's family weekend and military appreciation night in Grand Forks. Nearing the end of the first quarter, Bobcats in the red zone. Chris Murray pitches it to Logan Jones. He's on the line and dives into the end zone for the Montana State's first touchdown. Fighting Hawks. They try to get on the board, playing defense now with 450 until half. Jake Disserhop with the UND pick, six to put the home team on the board. And then it's right before halftime. The 37-yard field goal is good. UND trails 28 to 10 at the half. The Fighting Hawks lose in back-to-back -back games. They fall to the Bobcats. 49-21 as they drop to 1-3 early on the season. They travel to California next weekend to face UC Davis. Let's take a look at some other football scores. Winona State was all over Minot State today. They win 47-7, while DSU beats Mayville State 52-7. Let's head over to Minnesota. It's the Roy Griak Invitational for Cross Country. For the women's, the Marauders would finish third overall behind Todd Frazier and Pittsburgh State. As you marries Lexi Zeiss would place first to claim her third straight title for the men. Augustana would place first overall with 43 points followed by Central Missouri USF. And Minnesota Duluth rounds out the top five with the University of Mary Marauders placing 25th overall. Let's take a quick look at soccer scores. The Patriots would get the 4-1 win this afternoon. And in Jamestown, the Demons shut out the Blue Jays 5-0. The Bismarck Bobcats were on the ice tonight against the Cooley Region Chill. Bobcats win 7-2. The Minnesota Twins still hanging on to that final wild card spot. They defeat the Tigers 10-4, scoring eight runs in the eighth inning. Oh man, Twins just hanging on by a thread. Hanging on by this much, Bo. All right, they're this close to October baseball. Thanks. Hail the size of a golf ball? Snow drifts taller than your front porch? Thunderstorm rolling in on the prairie? All right, just enough time for one more look at weather. Well, our rainy Saturday for most of us, although eastern Montana, western North Dakota should be drier for a majority of our Sunday, but we do warm up to near 70 degrees by the end of the week into the weekend. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, Ryan. Thanks for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 5.